All right, just put everything in the oven. Breakfast muffins coming right up. <laughs> Hopefully this is worth it. I woke up way too early to make Freddy breakfast. And if there's anything that, you know, can get him to forgive me, hopually it's food. <laughs> um, okay, I just have to keep it calm, keep collected, understand his part of the argument, tell him my feelings, and hopefully we can uh, get back to normal. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, good morning, Freddy. Are you up here somewhere? Oh, uh, <clears throat> hey, buddy. Oh, pal. What you doing? Laying here. Well, you're kind of sitting there awkwardly staring at the, the ceiling. Um, uh, I'll have you know, I just made some of your favorite protein muffins. I put them in the oven for you. Uh, it'll be a little while before they're done baking, but um, I thought in the meantime, maybe we could chat. I'm okay. Just eat them without me. No, no, uh, I, I made them for you. I, I personally find them disgusting. I'd rather just have ice cream for breakfast. Um, But Freddy, either way, I really think we should talk about, well, last night. Um, Don't, don't you agree? Talk about what exactly? About you just not respecting or <sighs> wanting to tell me anything anymore? That's not what happened. And if you'll give me a, a moment of your time and actually look at me and have a conversation with me, I'll explain my thought process and even apologize. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So I thought about it a lot last night and I agree. I probably made a big misjudgment and I should have told you. With everything that happened recently with the divorce and I know you were upset about Gregory and dealing with the new superstar stuff. I just, I didn't want to add more to your plate that would upset you. It's not that I was hiding it from you because I was afraid of how you'd act as far as I'm concerned. I, I knew or I hoped you'd be okay with it. I just, I don't know. I didn't want to hurt you. And if anything, I wanted to see where it was going before it got more official than it needed to be. At the time, I thought maybe it could just be a one-off thing. And uh, once we were fixed, it'd be back to normal or whatever, but it's not. <clears throat> I'm sorry. The fact that you were hoping that I never find out? That's not what I said. That's not what I said at all, Freddy. I planned on telling you. I just wanted to tell you after I was sure it was something that would continue. And once things calmed down a bit, I, I wasn't going to hide it from you forever. Clearly. I mean, that, that wouldn't have been possible. You're my best friend. Yeah. A sentiment I thought I had with, with a lot of people. And you still have it with a lot of people. It's just things are changing, Freddy, and I don't want to sound insensitive, but you got to accept it. I mean, Roxanne is Gregory's mom. He wants to spend time with her. That doesn't mean he loves you any less. It's the fact that he didn't want to call me dad. I think you just kind of surprised him. I, I don't know the whole story. You need to figure that out with Gregory. But the point being, I want to figure us out. We live together. We work together. We do everything together, Freddy. So w what can I do to make it right? Uh, do you want me to stop seeing Roxanne? Because I'll do it. I was never the point i couldn't care less if you guys were dating each other in all honesty if you guys would have asked i would have said sure go ahead but i think it's the fact that you guys didn't trust that i would act mature about this everyone's been treating me like like i was the villain in everything recently like i didn't try my best and i don't know if i was or not but i just want to feel like i'm not hated anymore and you just not telling me <sighs> made me feel like no one wanted to trust or cares about what I feel anymore. But don't you see, Freddy? You've got it all backwards. I didn't see you as a villain. I saw you as a victim, if anything. I just didn't want to make your life harder than it's already been the past few weeks. I mean, with your blessing, I'll happily keep seeing her and I can promise to just tell you stuff from here on out even if I think it'll hurt your feelings Bruh. honestly I think I would prefer that instead of just finding out especially imagine this imagine years and years in the future let's say you and Roxanne don't work out and all that you think it would have been better if I found out way later down the line that that happened you wouldn't have found out way later down the line I would have told you just in a few more weeks I know I wasn't in the right I made a mistake and I'm sorry at least you're saying that now Look, I'm not mad. Everything is just happening. Feel like I lost my superstar, my son. 
I feel like I lost everything I had been building up. And I get it. Roxanne wasn't in the right state of mind when she did everything. When she took almost all my assets, almost all my money. And then our comment section wasn't even kind to me either. Well, if it makes you feel any better, they haven't been <clears throat> kind to me. I, I mean, I am the one who ripped out the chip in the first place. And oh, you, you should have seen it uh, on those videos. Um, they weren't exactly impressed. Uh, but they're really not going to be impressed if you and I hate each other. I don't hate you. It's something my brother and my dad often told me is that the fact it takes a lot for me to hate someone, that's a good and a bad thing with me. Uh, how do we move on from here? I mean, do you accept my apology? I do, but at the same time, you're gonna have to give me a minute. I mean, as much as you didn't mean for it to be, it was a hard blow to me. I need time to process everything. Which I get, and I really want to give you that, Freddy, but we just... We also have the channel to keep running, and I, I don't want things to be awkward between us. Hell, the only time it was awkward was when Mont passed gas and tried to act like it was you. <clears throat> yeah. No, I can't say that I'm super happy he's living with us again, but um, I guess he does uh, provide comedic relief from time to time. And the occasional FBI raid. Yeah. They know our names by this point. I, I mean, as long as Jessica and Steve come, um, they're the good ones. I, I, I don't like the other ones very much. Um, I swear, Bob did not steal your no, ice oh, cream. He absolutely did. They were here for three hours the other day. You think that they didn't have any food or drink while they were here? No, it was absolutely Bob. Bob is a kind guy. Yeah, okay. a kind guy who steals <laughs> people's ice cream. But like I said, I'm not mad just disappointed I and know everything. and I'm sorry I just didn't want you to sulk anymore cuz you sulk you've been sulking look we need to start fixing things rather than having more things destroyed I mean fixing our relationship or friendship you really need to talk to Gregory and honestly as much as you don't want to you should probably talk to Roxanne too at this point I mean we got holidays coming up and don't you want to spend those with your son <sighs> exactly so I will arrange a little chat with you and Gregory maybe and uh, maybe even one with Roxanne but in the meantime Will you please come downstairs and have a protein muffin with me? Fine. You remember to make it right this time, yeah, right? Yeah, the, 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 the eggs and then the protein powder and um, uh, I put blueberries in half. I couldn't remember if you liked with blueberries or without. Um, And I used that special fancy uh, the wheat flour that you like. We ran out of that. The flour's not white, is it? Monty! Okay, uh, don't eat those muffins. I'm gonna take a frying pan and go beat Monty with it. I'll be right back. <laughs>